All right, YouTube, for more. this is a little short video. Um, I keep having issues with cranking on this Vanguard. Uh, first, it was a push rod I bent and a bunch of other shit. Now, I shared another timing or a flywheel key. If you don't got a puller, I was going to show you guys a short way to uh, take it up. This shroud right here, you're going to bend it if you want to take it off, but realistically, you can't take it off unless you get the flywheel off. So, I just bent it just a little bit. Okay, it's got a pry bar sitting right here underneath and I'm too lazy to find a hammer which I see one right there I'm just not gonna grab it I was using a breaker bar the back or the steel end or whatever basically put the bolt in halfway through and just keep hitting on it and lifting up on this pry bar and then pushing down putting all your weight on it and after you do it a couple times, the whole file will come up. Trying to be quiet, but uh, yeah, it's not working. But uh, all right, turn the light on so you guys can see real quick. You can see the flywheel key parts right there, but it's all the way over here. So. That much is sheared off of it. A little wiggle. Alright, basically, you guys see what I'm talking about. Well. Careful, this thing's a little, a little heavy on for you, uh, scrawnier kids. But, uh, if you need to check your magnets like this one, looky there. There's a reason why I fly wool sheeting. But if you look, there's more chips. Oh, there's that one right there. You can take these magnets out and re-glue them in there. Oh wait, no, these ones are epoxies in there. But, since we got another flywheel, sorry for the mess, guys. But, uh, so we got another flywheel and another key in there. Very good. Now, before you do this, you want to count the teeth. And make sure everything's straight. You don't want to lose this key. That one looks sheared already. I don't know. Count these compared to these ones. Those have got a lot of bigger magnets compared to this one. So, looks like we're going to have to use that one still. But, uh, I guess. Pretty much. I'm not showing you that.